Hey guys, Captain Scott Feist, Feisty Fish Guide Service, Team Potsky. I'm going over my go-to cure for the Sacramento River. Matter of fact, anywhere that I fish row. So here we go. I got a bag full of row uh, from some of the fish we caught today. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of dump this out. We're gonna kind of just lay these guys out here like so. And as you can see, the fish are so fresh this time of year, a lot of the eggs are small, more steel, steelhead kind of bait, but I'll still cure it up for some salmon fish in here. So what I'm gonna do is what I call opening the skeins up. So what I'm gonna do is kind of cut down the center of these things without completely cutting the back of the skein. I'm just opening them up so they could absorb the cure a little bit better. So I'll open it, I'll grab each one of these, and we're just gonna kinda just butterfly them open is what I'm doing. And again, these are just really small little eggs, but that's okay. They'll cure up just fine. All right, just kind of keep opening it. And you can notice most of my skeins don't have much blood in it. It's because I bleed the fish. But if you go on this back side here and you see a lot of blood in the eggs, just run your knife through them and I'll kind of do that at the end. Um, it's really important, you know, if you want good bait, you need to take care of your bait uh, from the beginning. And that means bleeding your fish immediately after you bonk it in its head with a bat or whatever you do. Uh, it's very important. If you don't bleed your fish, what ends up happening, all these eggs end up getting loaded with, uh, with blood. So a lot of these are just real small. And you know, these eggs will mature as we get later in the season and the fish aren't quite as fresh. You'll get some bigger bait, but these are just little BB stuff. But there's enough of them here that we're going to go ahead and cure it up and, and fish it. Okay, I just finished butterfly and uh, open all these skeins. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some fire cure. Uh, I like the red, that's my go-to color. Occasionally I will mix a little pink in it, but red, if, if red's all you have, red's just fine. So what we'll do is uh, we'll kinda throw this stuff around. And I like to wear gloves so my fingers don't get torched. And I'm just kinda rubbing this stuff in. Like so, just get a little on there. You just want to kind of work it in between it. You can see me kind of rubbing my fingers on this. And I'm just kind of working it in there. Throw a little layer on the back side of the skein. Again, I'm just kind of using my fingers to open each one of these flaps to get some of that cure down in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you know what's nice about this Potsky cure, unlike some other cures on the market, you really can't overdo it. A lot of other cures will burn your bait. This stuff right here is very, very forgiving. So, you know, you're, you're not going to overdo it. Don't worry about it. Am I putting too much cure on there? Just throw a nice little layer on each side. Keep going with them. And just keep going with them. And then what I'll do, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab a jar. What I like to do is just throw them in. After I get them going here, I'm gonna start dumping them in the jar right here. Okay, so what I've done with all the cured bait, I put it in the jar. And what I like to do is let this sit out for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes before I put it in the refrigerator, kind of let some of those juices form. I'll kind of roll it around in here, uh, kind of get things going. This step right here, I put these eggs in the refrigerator for three days. And I like to flip them in the morning when I wake up. In the evening, flip them back over. Just let those juices absorb. You know, in the morning, flip it. In the evening, put it like that. After three days, they come out of the refrigerator. And they look like this. And we're going to go over the next step here in just a second. So these eggs are eggs that have been curing for the last three days in the refrigerator. And now I'm going to dump them out of the jar. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay these things out. So now, you know, they're, they're somewhat scented. They're definitely dyed, but they're still too moist for the kind of fishing I'm doing. There's nothing wrong with these eggs. These eggs could fish and you could fish them, but they're pretty wet. They're pretty moist. So I'm gonna do my kind of dry out process. So typically what I'll do is I'll grab, I love adding the krill and we talk about krill all the time. So the firepower krill is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty generously hit these eggs. I'm gonna just get a nice little layer in there so it soaks 
soaks on in and we'll add some more in a minute and we'll just kind of hit this stuff pretty heavy. So I'm using the Boraxo fire to tighten up these eggs, get the skeins a little bit tighter. You know, like I said before, these eggs could be fished, but when I add the Boraxo fire, what it's going to do, it's going to firm that membrane up, kind of firm those eggs up to the consistency I want for back bouncing and drifting eggs on the Sacramento River. So what I do, kind of like how I was adding the cure, I'm just getting them rolled up here and I'm just throwing a layer on the back just kind of shaking it through getting some on the back trying to work this stuff in through the skeins just like so work it down the line we're almost there it's beautiful beautiful and I mean this is so simple so simple you can't use too much of this. It's not going to hurt it right now at this at this level of the game. And then what I do to start drying them out is I get per, uh, paper towels and I roll these things in little burritos. So I'll set one, two, probably put pieces like that. So they're all shook with the Boraxo. And what I'm going to do... So I'm going to roll it in a little burrito like this. And I'm going to grab some more paper towels. Lay that in there. That in there. And what I'm going to do is roll it into a little burrito. So. And what this paper towel is going to do is pull some of the moisture out of these eggs while they're sitting in the refrigerator. And then what I'll do is I'll grab a Ziploc baggie, right like so. I'm going to place these little egg burritos inside this bag. And bingo, what I'll do is I'll place this in the refrigerator for three to five days and they're ready to fish. After three to five, even 10 days is fine. Let them sit in those burritos. You can take them out. And this is gonna be your final product right here. And you might find that you they're still a little too moist for you. you can, if you cut it up before you go fishing, just add some more Boraxo fire onto it and you can get them to firm up even a little bit more but again these are real small eggs we're catching really fresh bright chinook here in the sacramento valley so our eggs aren't mature yet but this is uh, some really good looking bait and it smells wonderful <laughs> mm. you know so a lot of guys will just use the fire cure call it a day fish those eggs i take these extra steps to get the right consistency of bait that i really want it's a little bit more work takes a little bit more time, but at the end of the day, it produces, and it is the number one bait on the Sacramento Valley. Sacramento River, Feather River, hands down, not a question's asked, and uh, that's why we do it.